Now we're going to explore just for a moment an interesting relationship between secant lines and tangent lines, and that is the mean value theorem. So what we've got displayed here is a picture that illustrates the mean value theorem, which we'll talk about here in a second, and the actual mean value theorem. So let's start with what the mean value theorem says. It says that if we've got a function that's continuous, which is a something we'll delve into more shortly, but it means probably what you think it means. If you picture a polynomial, that's a continuous function. And for a while now, we're just going to deal with polynomials. So you can kind of keep that in mind that we've got a graph that, you know, it's nice and smooth and it's all connected. And we're talking about it over a closed interval AB. So what that means, this closed interval AB, we're talking about this function starting at a point A and ending at an x value point B. So start, we're just going to look at it from A to B. That's what we mean by a closed interval. So starting at that A, stopping at that B. And then it's differentiable over the open interval A to B. So differentiable just means, again, means probably what you think it means, that we can actually find the derivative at all the points between A and B. Maybe we'll write that down. We can find the derivative. Remember the derivative is f prime, and we'll say maybe it's f prime of c, at all the points, oops, the points c in the interval a, b. And so this is an open interval because we don't include the endpoints. We don't include A or B as part of these points where we call it, talk about all the points in the interval. We're talking about just right after A, and just right before we get to B. So it's talking about in terms of our x-axis here, starting at A, so all of these points, all of these x values, A and B. We can find that derivative, we can find the slope of our tangent line at all of those points. So if both of these things are true, then there exists at least one point in our interval that's what this notation here means. C and then that little sort of weird looking E thing, A to B, that means that C is a point in our interval, kind of where we wrote right here. It's a point in our interval such that F prime of C is equal to F of B minus F of A over B minus A. So taking this definition apart a little bit, remember that F prime of C, that is the slope of the tangent line at x equals c. That's our derivative at that point c, which is the slope of our tangent line. Our other part of this equality here, but that's our difference quotient. Oops, that's not how you spell difference. Difference quotient, or you know, the other way to say this is the slope of the secant line. from x equals a to x equals b. So what the mean value theorem is actually telling us is that at some point in the interval, and maybe I'm going to say that a slightly different way, at some x value in the interval a, b, the slope of the tangent line at C will be the same as the slope of the secant line. From x equals a, to x equals b. Thank you for bearing with me while I was writing that there. And so there's another thing here where it says at least one point. So there could be more than one of those values where the tangent line is equal to, its slope is equal to our secant line. And that's what we're seeing here in this picture. So this first line right here, that's our secant line. And then in this picture, we have two tangent lines guy right here and this guy right here that have the same slope as our secant line. Notice we've got three parallel lines sitting there. 
So we're saying that we can do this for any of these functions that are continuous and differentiable. And just for something fun, we've got a little Desmos, we've got a little Desmos demonstration of this. So here we've got our, our function in red, and we're looking at it from here, what's that point here? Negative 1.6 until we get to two, and we've got our purple secant line drawn there, and then I've got um, a movable point here where I've also got the slope of the tangent line given there. So I can slide this point, and at some point, I should find that my tangent line has a slope of negative one-third. And I'm getting close. I don't know if I'll be able to get exactly there, but I could get really, whoa, I went past it. I can get really very close. Ooh, ooh, right there. Oh, I kind of moved it a little bit. It's hard to keep it on there. I have to keep my finger on there. There we go. That's pretty close. So right there at that point, they're almost like if we could be perfect, maybe zoom in a little more. I might be able to get it perfect. I can't totally on this uh, Desmos, but we can see that we've got that point there where we've got our secant line and our tangent line are parallel.